Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple stats system. The first thing I'm going to do is open my project called Start Sample. This is going to be available for Patreon users if you just want to open this up and start with this one, but it's going to be really introductory. So I'm going to go over to my edit and plugins and make sure that your gameplay tags editor is enabled. And then I'll go to edit project settings. And now when you get to your project settings, you'll see this under project section, gameplay tags, and you'll hit this manage gameplay tags next to your gameplay tag list. And we're just going to add a few gameplay tags. And now after you click on manage gameplay tags, you are just going to be able to click on this plus sign to add a new gameplay tag. And then for the source, I'll select default gameplay tag .ini. And for the name, I've already added a few here as an example. So if I were to do something like stat dot weapon damage dot example and just add it like this, it'll automatically parent it to the stat and then I'll have a collapsible type weapon damage and it'll automatically have this example inside of it. So if I click add new tag, it'll add it exactly as I said. So I can click on this drop down to have this example tag, but I can also just delete this tag by just right clicking and clicking delete. And I've already added a few such as stat.hp stat.mana, melee damage, range damage, and stamina. And now back in my third person BP, I'm gonna right click, click on blueprint class and create an actor component called BP statistic component and click enter just to go into it. And now under variables, I'm just gonna create three types of variables. One will be stat tag. And now that I've created stat tag, I'm just gonna change this to gameplay tag. And then I'll add another one and call this one stat value, which is going to be of type float. And then I'll add another one called stats, which is going to be a gameplay tag map. So I'm going to look for, I'm actually just going to leave it as float. And then up here, I'm going to change this from single to map. And on the left side for the key, I want it to be gameplay tag, which connects to a float. And now we're going to create two functions. One is called set set stats or set stat and it's going to take an input two input parameters one will be the gameplay tag or a stat tag of type gameplay tag and another one will be value which is going to be a type float and all i'm going to do for this one is just drag this stats and add a get stats and look for the add function just like this and i'm going to connect the stat tag pin over here and then the value will connect here and then just connect the execution pin and I'll hit compile and save. And now for the second function, we'll, we'll call this get stat and I'll add an input of stat tag, which will be type gameplay tag. And now after I set the input stat tag as gameplay tag, I'm just going to drag out the stats variable that we made and select get stats, drag this out and type in find. And then I'll just make sure I connect the stat tag over here and connect those pins. And now I also want to make a return node. So in order to do that, I'm just going to add one to my output and this will be type value of float. And we're going to connect the find over to new parameter and hit compile and save. And now that these functions are set up, I can expose this to my character just by simply adding this stats component onto my character by simply just adding it to my character, but it won't work by default. So what I need to do is go over to my stats and make sure that it's instance editable and exposed on spawn. So I'll compile and save that. And now when I open up my BP third person character, I am just going to click add and look for that statistics component that we made or BP statistic component, add this. And now under in the event graph under everything, I'm just gonna basically just click onto this and the details, you'll see that it says stats here. So I'm just gonna click plus three times it's only going to let me do it one at a time. So I'll set my HP, mana, and my stamina over here. And I'll set my HP to something like 1000, my mana to 500, stamina can be 100. So I'll hit compile and save. Let's print these values out using a print string. So what I'm going to do is I'll do a debug key one, two, and three, and I'll drag this BB component out. And with this, I just want to do a get stat. So it'll know to get the stats from this BP statistic, statistic component by using our get stat function. And I'm going to just connect these pins. And the stat I want to get is going to be the HP for this one. And I want to print string. 
And then I'm going to right click and select format text. And I'll connect this over to this print string over here. And I want to just have it say HP colon, whatever the value is. So I'll connect this new parameter into the format text, click add pin, delete this, and then reconnect this over to the zero. So I'm going to have this say HP colon, and then squiggly bracket zero, because this zero is our variable for this. And then I'll highlight over all of it, click C to comment, and I'll just say that this is HP. And then I'm just going to copy paste these, connect it, and label the comment boxes. And don't forget to change the stat tag. So I'll change this one to mana and the one in the stamina comment box to stamina. And then also change the format text. And I'll hit compile and save and just line it up to make it look nice. And I'll change the colors just so we know what it is. So red for HP, blue for mana, and we'll do green for stamina. I'll hit compile, save, and go back. So we set these debug key one, two, three already. So now when I go over to my third person map, and I'll hit one. So my HP, it says it's a thousand, mana is 500, and stamina is set to 100. And that's because we set it for our third person character. And we can just drag this BP statist statistic component into whatever character we want, and then add these elements to set it to that. And yeah, that's a really introduction level of adding statistics to your, to your game, um, just using vanilla Unreal Engine 5. Thanks for watching Code of Thrill. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. If you need these project files, they'll be in the Patreon. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the see you in the next video.